Okay, so today I'm going to get you up with the Panasonic 3DO or just 3DO with Launchbox. Check this video out. Okay, so in this setup guide, I'm going to show you how to get this configured and up and running with Launchbox. I'm going to show you some video configurations, how do you get your controller working, file extensions, and BIOS settings. So let's start off with going into Launchbox. And I'm using the latest 13.5 as recording this video. Uh, but it seems that there's going to be a release soon for 13.6. But I'll do a setup guide on that when that's released to let everyone know. Uh, so what we're going to do first is just go into tools at the top here. I'm going to go to import and ROM files. And this is going to bring up the wizard window. So we're going to press next. And this is the part where we're going to start adding our games. Now, I've got one game located on my desktop, and I've got this in a .bin.q format, and this is a direct rip from my game. So I'm going to go to desktop, find 3DO games, and I'm going to just highlight it and press select, and that's going to now put this into place. I'm going to go to next. And what platform are you importing games for? So your top option is going to be obviously 3DO, Interactive Multiplayer. So just bear in mind that there were several different manufacturers at the time producing their own versions of the 3DO. The Panasonic 3DO is the one which is known. Uh, but let's not forget, we also got the Gold Star 3DO. So anyway, let's go to 3DO Interactive Multiplayer, press Next. Now choose an emulator. What I'm going to do just here is go to Add, and this comes up as emulator name. So it's automatically assumed we're going to go for the 4DO. And the 4DO is a very good emulator for emulating 3DO games. So what I'm going to do is go to the download tab just here and actually download this standalone emulator to work alongside Launchbox. And what I'm going to do is just download this one just here, which is a zip file. And this is going to bring us over to SourceForge. Now, this version of downloading is going to be a portable version rather than an installation. So this is now going to download. And as we can see, it's now downloaded into a zip format. So what I'm going to do is just close all this down for now and go back to my desktop. I've just created a folder uh, called 4DO and I'm going to drag this downloaded zip file inside of here. And let's go inside. I'm going to right click. And I'm using WinRAR, some of you might be using 7-Zip or WinZip, and we're just going to extract it. And here we go. So we can now delete this .zip file. So what I'm going to do is just drag my BIOS file inside of this folder, just for easiness and everything is all together in one. And here we go. So let's go back into Launchbox again, and let's start over again. So we're going to go to Tools, Import, ROM Files, Next. And again, I'm going to add my game folder. So that's obviously on my desktop. 3DO games, select folder. Next, I'm going to be picking the 3DO interactive multiplayer again. Next. And what we're going to do here is go to add. Now, this is the part where we're going to add the emulator that we just downloaded using Launchbox. So if I go to browse, and I'm going to navigate the desktop, and my emulator for 3DO is inside my 4DO folder. I'm going to left click on the 4DO XE and press open. I'm going to go to OK and that's set. So we're going to press next. Now this next option just determines if we want to copy our game files elsewhere on our computers. In my case, I use use the files in their current location and this keeps your games exactly where they are. So just press on that and then press next. This part just here, you've got an option to download all the artwork this has, or you can be very selective and just pick a couple. If you press check all, it's going to check everything, check none, it unchecks. For this, I'm going to just go and check all, and I'm going to press next. Configure Emu Movies, you're obviously going to need to sign up with Emu Movies, which is going to get you preview videos for your games. But you can go over to Emu Movies to sign up for free to sort that out and then just add your user ID and passwords. 
But I'm going to press next and next again. And it's scanning the ROM directory now. We just add it. And as we can see, it's picked up my game, Escape from Monster Manor, which is in the .bin.q format, which is what 4 do emulator accepts. So I'm going to press finish. And now we're going to have to wait a few minutes. Now, depending on how much artwork you've downloaded just a minute ago, it could take some time, especially if you've got many games. So bear with this part. Okay, so we got our game just here, and obviously we got the cover art. As I always say in my launch box setup guides, if we just go to image group just here, and you downloaded all of the artworks, you're going to get most artwork for these games. Some of them is going to be missing, but the majority of them are going to be here. So let's open up this game and see if this one works. So just double left click on this. And of course at the bottom is saying no BIOS selected. So I'm going to just left click on this one. And double left click on my BIOS file. And here we go. We have Escape from Monster Manor, which is an absolute classic. But I've got no controller working with this emulator. So I just press Escape just to bring my 4D emulator into a window mode, as you can see. And we need to configure the controller from here. Remember that launch box literally just launches your emulators. So to do this, what I'm going to do is go to Options, Configure Input, and I'm going to go to Add Set. And I'm using my cursor on my keyboard, and I'm going to left click on the Up just here. And then I'm pressing up on my PS3 controller and I'm going to follow this process until I finish this. So down on my D-pad and literally just press with your cursor and your clicker each button on the 3DO image you can see and corresponds that with the controller you've got plugged in. Now I use my famous PS3 controller for all of my gaming and there we go. So we can now OK that. And let's just go back into full screen mode. So if I go to display, full screen, we've now got a working PS3 controller running 3DO. Now I've got the sound turned down on this one just for the setup guide I'm doing for this, but it will be working fine for you. And of course, some of you out there are going to be wondering, can I actually upscale 3DO games with this emulator? Yeah, you can. And you can really make these games look really good. So to do this, I'm going to go to display, scaling mode, and it's up to you. 3DO games aren't the most demanding in terms of your hardware on your PC or laptop. So you can try bumping this up to HQ4X, and this is going to boost up your graphics and how your games look. And something else to look at is if you go to Options, 4DO settings, if you go to Display B, go to Double Resolution Rendering, and that's another option for you to play around with, and that's obviously going to disable what we just enabled just there. But it's another option, and it gives you a chance to play about with what settings best works for you. So, OK this. Now, as you can see, I've just enabled those settings and the health just at the bottom is not good. Your game isn't working. So let's just exit out of this and go back into it. Now we change those settings. And as you can see, we got no screen at all. So it really is just a case of experimenting. So if I go back to options again, 4DO options, I'm going to put this back down to HQ 4X and just open up Monster Manor again. And here we go, we're back in again. So like I just said, in some cases for 3DO games using this emulator, some games won't boot at all if you upscale them. So this one works perfectly for Escape from Monster Manor, but your games are going to be various, and some games are going to set those sort of video settings, some isn't. Thank you. 
Okay, so that's it from my 3DO setup guide today for Launchbox. If you like what you see today, just hit notifications for me. It really helps out my channel. And it also gives you a chance to get my videos as I upload them. Also, check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And also be sure to check out my new membership option. But until next time, stay retro.